Thank you, Dave. Well, it's a Saturday morning and it's quite cold and it's raining. I thought I'd grab the camera. Um, it's not the, uh, the little vlog I had in mind so far, but um, it's very amb. There's plenty of ambulance. So that's where I thought I'd grab this. Rain's backed off a bit, but I've been up since six. And I'm actually cold. Sort of put my pyjamas on. I've been trying to update this bloody drone. Or rather downgrade the firmware. What the stupid bloody thing? What the hell's it? Oh. Trust me, it's a nightmare. Okay, well, there you have it. Uh, see how the rest of the day goes. I knew there was rain coming, but so we got some rain. It's cold. You might go back to bed for a while. See ya. Sound speed. Rolling. And action. Well, good day again. It is now late afternoon. It's still raining. Um, it's been drizzling all day. But I got a little sleep in after I spoke to you last this morning um, basically a very kickback laid back day which is fine um, just a wrap up video anyway um, uh, for November which is what I've been doing this month that I haven't told you about which is not a whole lot really the the hand that's the recovery from the carpal tunnel operation I mean, it's visually um, quite good. That's where the camera went in. And down here is where the endoscope went up. So, um, yeah, but it's quite swollen. I uh, was planning to make a, um, a month on video about it. But I had an appointment the other day at the hospital and um, the surgeon said it could take up to nine months for swelling to go down. Because at the moment, I can't do that without looking really spasticated. But apparently it's swelling. So I'm calling it a complete failure based on um, what I'm experiencing at the moment. It's actually worse, uh, not better. Only now I've had to do all this crap to get it sorted out. Uh, you saw what I went through with all the bandaging and everything like that. Um, now I'm having to do physio which is um, well, it's just a bit of a nuisance. They gave me a ball to play with as well. So yeah, we'll leave it a bit before we know for sure if it was a failure. There's no improvement whatsoever in any of the fingers, they're all numb. Uh, the only thing I could probably say is it doesn't feel like there's a tight wristband there anymore. But <laughs> there you have it. Uh, what else do I want to say? Um, well, you've hopefully seen my video I made about the, um, the results of the gay marriage plebiscite, which people are calling a vote. If you haven't, I'll pop that up there. Well. Oh there, I'm not sure yet. 
maybe down there. Anyway, let me know what you think. Uh, I say live and let live. And it wasn't a vote, it counts for nothing at this stage. But anyway, the majority uh, says 60-40 in favour of uh, being in favour of gay marriage. So we'll see if it passes Parliament, I'm pretty sure it will. Anyway, on to the next thing. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, um, one of the YouTube channels I follow, uh, ATV China, I'll actually put a link in the description. Um, really awesome video. These guys live in China. One's originally from South Africa and one's from America. And one of the videos they were talking about that I saw the other night had me quite astounded. It was about the freedom of, um, in this case, China versus the USA. And I'm thinking... Most things they said, I think we're more free here in Australia. Um, one thing in particular, though, that why I'm mentioning it at all, uh, the guy from America said that if you... Well, all right, start. Rewind. The other guy from South Africa said, uh, and they've lived there for 10 years or more, um, it's people just pee in the streets in China. Well, yeah, I guess not adults, but kids, certainly. Um, but the guy from America reckons that uh, if you're caught urinating in public there you, and get arrested, you're charged with um, sex crimes or a, a sex, labelled a sex offender. And that just blew me away. Oh, you know, it's different if you're in the middle of a busy mall, shopping centre and, you know, start getting it out and waving it about. We're not talking about that. We're talking about if you absolutely need to go, like a long drive or whatever, country drive and there's no toilets. I know over here it is legal to pull over and, if needs be, do it by the side of the road. I mean, I've done it. It's pretty rare, thankfully. But, um, look, as so long as you make some effort to, you know, like have the car door open, just kind of stand there, whatever. But apparently in America you're, um, you're labelled as a sex offender and you keep charged, serve time, whatever even. But that's on your record for the rest of your life. So I'm going to ask any American viewers to please comment. Um, I haven't researched it to verify this, but do you know is that the law over there? It sounds a bit stupid. It's just another typical blanket approach of not taking things on individual case merit. Anyway, I wanted to ask that question, so help me out. Okay, from this morning, um, I have finally managed to upgrade, or rather downgrade, the firmware of the drone. Which, uh, I'll tell you what, the manufacturer, DJI, I better get their act together because their reputation is going to be shot. Uh, you just Google it, there's lots and lots of responses. Evidently, the latest version of the firmware um, limits, restricts your height and distance and all that. And the way around it is you have to be logged into the website which some say is not an issue, uh, unless somehow you get logged out. So what everyone's trying to do is go down a grade or two. I experimented with it during the week and I thought I had a win um, and was able to go flying.
but for some reason or other, yeah, it limited itself, so I guess, yeah. Anyway, I've had success after much messing around. So, yeah, now I can demonstrate something uh, in closing of this uh, little November vlog. Um, somebody asked me about how does the gimbal with the camera on work. Well, let me show you. So as you see, as you tilt the drone, the camera stays in a stable position. Uh, it's based on the old gyroscopic principle, which to this day they use in autopilots, well, the primary basis behind autopilots in boats even. Uh, I know when I used to uh, basically be a shipwright and work on a yacht every week. Um, yeah, the autopilot failed and I had to run around the whole town getting another one. And apparently they're like basically a spinning top uh, driven by electricity, power, whatever, battery. And um, yeah, we've all spun a top as a kid and moved the surface where it's on, the top stays vertical. No matter which way, yeah, same principle. Uh, these days they're backed up um, or spun electronically, basically. Quite amazing, very, very old technology, but uh, still used to this very day. Okay, well, I just noticed the other day, uh, it's, we're almost at the end of November, which means um, Christmas is just around the corner. Uh, to be honest, I don't know what I'm going to do Christmas Day. Whether I'll hear a bit, whether I'll be here, um, probably editing video in my office for you guys. I don't know. Um, part of me would like to just go away somewhere. Anyway, I'm sure I'll speak to you before then. Just touching base because mostly uh, it's been a couple of videos lately. Um, kind of, you may have noticed, a bit, like a bit of a run of videos and then a pause. But I like to keep my um, my contact with you guys there. It's excellent that I'm getting more and more comments on some videos, um, so big shout out to you guys, you know who you are, including you Craig, um, and you Ray Transom, or Ray Transam, if you're watching. Alright guys, um, that's it for now, uh, as usual, any comments just ask, I'm still waiting to get questions to put together a Q&A, anyway maybe next year. Hey? Okay, awesome. Uh, hopefully you can see me. I know the light's pretty poor. I apologise about that. But it's pretty dark and it's only just gone 4 o'clock. Um, anyway, it's an overcast day as you can maybe see. So, there you have it. Alright, speak to you soon. Thanks for joining in. Bye. Moments later. Just met at it and um, come out for tea and um, decided to try these. Uh, that's my hand. Giant Tassie oysters. I've had giant New Zealand oysters and um, they're probably bigger than this but they frighten me off and I love oysters.